Hello horror fans and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos, the place where we joyfully leap into the frightening world of horror fiction and fandom for the sheer fun of it, so all your nightmares may come true. What's going on guys? As per usual, I'll be your spirit guide, Jack Finch, as we trip through Ryan Murphy's horror anthology playbook and take a look at the Top 5 Scariest American Horror Story Moments. Roll the clip. What fun. Since its inception in 2011, Ryan Murphy's American Horror Story has had us transfixed as we flick through his bizarre horror filled multiverse. Murder House, Asylum, Coven, Freak Show, Hotel, The Lost Roanoke Colony, Cult, and the most recent Apocalypse. Through them, we've had an absolutely mammoth cast of creepy and freaky characters, most of which either end up mad or dead, but most importantly, they scare the ever living bejesus out of us. Well, Without further delay, let's take a look, shall we? Before we do that though, you know how it is horror fans. If you're a fan of this video, American Horror Story, or just top five scary videos in general, then please be a good sport and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell, so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. On with the show. Kicking off at number five, Elsa's Legs, Freak Show. I'll tell you who the monsters are. The people outside this tent. In your town. In all these little towns. For the vast majority of season four, Jessica Lang's matriarchal character, Elsa Mars, remained very much a mystery. It wasn't until the second part of Freak Show's action packed Halloween episode that we actually understand what a horrific past that she was dealing with. She's a German woman missing the bottom halves of her legs who desperately, tragically wants to be the star performer in her own show. But then we rapidly and very vividly understand how she originally got a thirst for the spotlight. In 1932, she was the biggest attraction at an anything goes sex club in Weimar, not as a singer or curious debutante, but a top billed dominatrix who was notorious for her methods of humiliation and torture. Her act was so popular throughout the underground of Germany that she attracted a cult following, watching her perform her painstaking acts. But those fans quickly and tragically consumed her rise to fame, giving her the star role in her ghastly debut movie, a snuff film where Elsa Mars was drugged and then had her legs cut off by a chainsaw. For me, this is personally one of the worst items on this list and a rare moment when American Horror Story legitimately made my stomach turn. Coming in at number four, Shelley's painful climb, Asylum. If you ask anyone worth their salt, they'll all tell you that season two Asylum was undoubtedly the greatest season so far of American Horror Story, and as of yet, still hasn't been topped. Asylum had a lot, a lot of stuff going on. We had raspers, satanic nuns, Nazi doctors, lobotomies, and the horrifying visage of Bloody Face. Oh, and also aliens. Yeah. Throughout this campaign of madness though, one of the most terrifying turns is with Shelley, played by Chloe Savigny, a nymphomaniac who is wrongly institutionalized and falls into the hands of the twisted Dr. Arden, who brutally amputates her legs and gives her injections that rapidly turn her into a rasper, a grotesque and deformed result of his sadistic experiments. But it's what happened next that turned up the horror story moment. To stop her from being discovered by Sister Jude, Sister Mary Eunice, aka Satan, dumps Shelley at an elementary schoolyard of all places and she's discovered by a bunch of poor unassuming school children playing in the yard. What a way to start the day. Next up at number three, Delphine's Attic of Horrors, Coven. Did y'all miss me? Mm. 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 Oh, for me, Coven was a close second in the horror story rankings for several reasons, but it was Kathy Bates' debut performance on the roster that really took the prize, as the sadistic and brutal aristocratic serial killer Madame Delphine Ladori, based on the monstrous historical murder of the same name. In reality, alongside the legends that are still heard in many parts of southern USA, Madame Ladori was discovered to have tortured hundreds of slaves, supposedly mutilating some of them in her attic. In the show, we're 
we're hit very quickly with this stark truth with Delphine's attic in her Royal Street mansion harboring a different kind of evil. All sorts of torture cages and iron restraints being host to a barbaric murder campaign. Perhaps the most wretched part of this story though is the Minotaur scene where Lallory finds one of her daughters with Bastion. Lallory beats him, chains him in the attic and forces a small boy to place a hollowed out bull's head on top of his. Thankfully though Lallory finally gets her just desserts in a perfectly apt personal hell. Swinging in now at number 2, Twisty's Picnic Freak Show. <laughs> We can't have a list that doesn't feature the personification of horror himself, Twisty the Clown. Twisty, played by the awesome John Carroll Lynch, is perhaps one of the most iconic characters throughout the entire American Horror Story franchise because, you know, murderous clowns just kind of have that reputation. Well, anytime in season four that we saw a young couple splayed romantically on a blanket having a picnic, we soon knew what to expect next. There's a few seconds where you think that maybe just maybe Twisty won't brutally murder that nice young couple in the first episode, but then he bashes their heads in with a bowling pin and ravages the boyfriend with a pair of scissors. It's kind of reminiscent of the Stark picnic murder in Zodiac, which incidentally also starred John Carroll Lynch. Who knew? Eh? Twisty the Clown is a difficult one because in the long and short he had a really messed up backstory and American Horror Story did a fantastic job of exploring the origins of his murderous campaign. We kind of felt bad for him, especially in the scene where he explains his misunderstood, shall we say, motivations to Edward Mordrake, that his intention was always to make kids smile. Well, they all ended up crying, but Top marks for effort, I guess. And finally, our number one spot, Thresden's Basement Asylum. Don't worry. She won't bite. Because Zachary Quinto just can't help playing a terrifyingly convincing serial killer and the events that transpire after he reveals to Lana that he is indeed bloody face are some of the most disturbing and horrific that Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk have managed to muster throughout eight seasons of horror stories. In episode 5, I Am Anne Frank part 2, we think that Lana, played by the awesome Sarah Paulson, is finally in the clear after being wrongfully sectioned at Briarcliff Manor. But no. Of course not, because it's episode 5 and we know that the happy ending is a long, long way off. First, Lana notices a curious lampshade made from what appears to be human skin and a candy bowl that resembles a piece of skull. It's reminiscent of something straight out of Ed Gaines living room and we as an audience slowly dawn on the fact that Zachary Quinto's Dr. Thresden is the murderous skin wearing bloody face. Of course, there's a scene where she falls through the trapdoor and Lana finds the dead body of her girlfriend Wendy, but then the horror really gets turned up to 11 and I just kind of want to block that whole episode out of my memory really yep enough of that unfortunately horror fans that's all we've got time for in today's video cheers for sticking around all the way to the end if you're a fan of this video please show us some love by hitting that thumbs up button and dinging that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with your daily dose of horror as always I've been your host Jack Finch you've been watching top five scary videos and until next time you take it easy